Morning. Morning. Okay, it's a new day for me. Jump down here. And yeah, come in if you want, buddy. I uh, come out here this morning, got the pilot stove fired up, and ended last night completing all but one step on mounting these four lines, rear bracket and front bracket. The step that I need to do to finish this is to wrap up this connection with some provided tape. So I wanted to fire up the stove, set the tape on there. Uh, the, the instructions to me were a little bit, I guess a little bit backwards. They, uh, uh, the way they explain it is to, on a workbench install the rear bracket and then install the hard lines. So this is your rear bracket. These are obviously your hard lines. What ends up happening is that nut, you can see the scuff marks. I was trying to fight it at first. Both of them actually hit that rear bracket. There's some sliding here. There's a little bit of uh, movement, but there's not enough. There's nothing out on the other side of the bracket to uh, really adjust it. So the method I found was to fish the lines through the bracket and just kind of offer the bracket up close enough to slide it over, make up your lines, slide your bracket then into, play, into place and then put your bolts back in it. So this, this was the, the one to really finagle. That's where I started with because I wanted the bottom line in to give me some base to work off of the hangs below the bracket. And I didn't want all this stuff put together and then try to put the bottom one on with it laying on its side. So anyway, it's a bit finicky, but um, once it's made up, it's good. And again, use your mineral oil. Always, always back, back up your connections. Get a wrench on both of them. Do not torque on that. It will leak and this will all be for nothing. So those are the tips I can give you on that step. Uh, when we go to install it, so yeah, here's your here's your instruction showing you with the bracket on and the and the lines being made up. But uh, I said I had trouble with it, so I just left that bracket loose. So anyway, here's our next step. After I get this connection wrapped up and finalized, I will be able to hang it in the firewall and I believe that these holes are the ones we drilled before off of the template and once we get it in there and hung you want it level you want it plumb you want it correct you go ahead and uh, mark up where this bracket hits up on the inner cowl drill a couple of 3 16 holes run into provided hardware good to go put some silicone on them or something. I like to use seal all the gasket maker, whatever, something kind of hold them and uh, they recommend anytime you pass through the firewall to seal everything up. So I definitely will, I always have. You see the next few steps here is gonna be some bigger stuff and in, uh, involving under the hood. So yeah, we're getting there. Okay, next step.